All right, team, making our way to the back of the mat. Let's just take some deep breaths. We're gonna take a nice deep inhale, circle up, and exhaling, circling down. Let's go one more time, deep inhale up, and exhale, circle down. We're just going to tuck that chin under, slowly starting to roll that spine down. Once we come down onto the mat, we're gonna walk our hands out into a high plank, and just pushing your hips back into your downward dog and then back into your plank. So just hinging those hips backwards and forwards, making sure as we push back, we're really trying to press those heels into the mat, getting that stretch. Good, let's go final two. Into workout 173 today. It's also day four of your challenge. Let's go one last one here. And let's just lower all the way down onto our tummies. Lengthen your arms out in front. Right arm, you're gonna circle around, reaching down past your thigh, and then all the way back down. And going left arm, just alternating those arms. Bit of a spicy one today. We've got four sets of four different exercises, but good thing is we're gonna repeat each set straight away so we won't have to go back to it. But no rest in between, so keep a water bottle handy if you do wanna get that drink. And let's go one more time on each side. Reaching that left arm all the way back. Good, taking those hands by your sides, tuck your toes under, we're gonna push back into that downward dog. And when you're ready, slowly starting to walk those hands all the way in. And we're just gonna roll our spine over, hold it here, holding onto those elbows, maybe take a little rock side to side. Releasing your hands and let's slowly start to stack that spine all the way up. Going for that big shoulder roll at the top and let's grab onto our dumbbells. First exercise, we've got an upper body one here. So find a staggered stance. Okay, you choose which leg goes back and we're just gonna reach those dumbbells up towards that chest line, keeping those elbows wide. All the way up, but try not to hunch up through your shoulders. Just focus on the arms doing the movement here. And after this, we're gonna focus on that lower body, but we're just gonna hold on to one of those dumbbells. So we've got 40 seconds on, only five seconds rest in between. So quick transitions, very little rest today. So as I said, keep that water handy. Let's go, final three, two, and one. All right, drop one dumbbell down. We're gonna go for a squat with an extension, okay? So as we squat, you're gonna reach those arms overhead and come back in. Reaching and coming back in. So getting down nice and deep and giving me that full extension through those arms. Knees tracking in line with those toes. Now you can take this as quick or as slow as you want to, depending on what your body's feeling today. We've got our new mats in the studio. <laughs> We're excited, first time filming with these ones. Nice and fresh, going with the colors that we've got on today. After this, we're gonna come onto the mat in two, and let's go one last one. <laughs> All right, laying on down, tabletop sit-ups. So knees in line with your hips, take those elbows wide, and you're just crunching up and lowering down. Now you can squeeze those legs together if you wanna get a little bit more through your inner thighs here, otherwise just have them slightly separated or just loosely together, whatever you're feeling. And just make sure those knees aren't drifting closer to your chest. Now same thing here, you can take them as quick or as slow as you want, just make sure you're lifting up through your chest and your shoulders, those elbows stay wide. And well done, let's flip straight over. Actually, we'll come over this way. We're gonna go for a single leg extension hold while we work some push-ups. So let's extend our right leg to start with. Chest lowers and lifts. Lowers and lifts. So think of your body as a nice straight line. Okay, so try to keep that leg nice and straight behind you. Pressing up strong through your shoulders and just taking that eye gaze to the top of the mat. Pressing up through those palms. Don't forget about that leg. Your glutes are on the whole time here, just trying to lengthen and hold that leg out straight. Then we get to do this all again. All right, this is your last exercise of set one. 
Then we're gonna go straight back to the top, rest it down. Let's grab onto these dumbbells, starting with that staggered row. Okay, try and take your other foot forwards this time, change it up, and let's go reach those dumbbells up and lower down. Good chance to get your breath back. Try and control these dumbbells on the way back down. We're not just dropping them down. Then we're dropping that one single dumbbell shortly, coming into those squats with that extension. Making our way back down, set one. Let's go three, two, and last one. All right, one dumbbell down. Let's get ready for these squats with that extension, feet hip distance apart. And when you're ready, let's go for that squat press. Come back in. Last time doing these ones. So maybe going that little bit quicker if you can. All the way out, squeeze it in. Coming up to your halfway mark. Then we are back on that mat for those tabletop sit-ups. Only two more to go after this. Dig deep, deep. Can you go a little deeper in your squats? Let's keep that nice full range. Let's go one last one and bring it in. All right, dumbbell down. Make your way down, elbows wide, legs in tabletop, and we are going straight into those sit-ups. See if you can try and crunch up a little bit more. Now, if you're still looking for more, you can go for a, a two count hold as you come in. Just hold that crunch and then slowly lower down. Otherwise, just flowing up and down for me. Make sure those knees aren't drifting closer. Whew. Let's go, just less than 10 seconds and we are back into that push up. We're gonna extend that left leg this time, swapping it over that second round through and rest it down. Let's go team, flip straight over. We'll hold the left leg extended and let's lower and push up. And then that is set one done. We're gonna move straight on to set two. As I said, no resting. We're gonna grab those dumbbells. We're gonna start set two with another upper body exercise. Bit of a combo. All right, don't forget about our body here. Core is on, leg is extended, nice and strong, pushing up through those palms. Whew. Less than 10 seconds, let's go. Final three, two, give me one last one, and push up, beautiful. Grab onto your dumbbells on the way up. We are going straight into set two, alternating front right raise and upright row. Okay, so arms coming out in front. Then we go for that upright row. Now you can hold a staggered stance here if you want to or feet in that neutral position, whatever works for you. As we work that front raise though, let's try and get those dumbbells at shoulder height all the way up. Digging deep, then after this, a bit more of a lower body burner coming into another combo, lunge squat combo, but we're gonna drop those dumbbells down. Let's go one last series and front raise to finish off. Good, all right, dumbbells down, lunge and squat combo. All right, we're gonna start with our right foot stepping back. So step back, then we're gonna go for a squat with a reach. Now your challenge here, if you can, maybe try and stay down nice and deep and just more pulses here. All right, but if you do want that little bit less, get that little rest in between, break down each movement. Got some nice combos this set. We've got another one coming down on the mat, a bit of an ab combo. You're gonna need just one dumbbell shortly. Let's go, almost there, final two. One more lunge. <laughs> all right, come all the way down. Whew. Grab one dumbbell. Now we've got a bit of a combo here. You're gonna start in an ab bike stance with your legs, so right knee in, left leg extended. Raise your left leg up, down, then we rotate. Good, so alternating those legs, a little bit tricky. Start slow, once you get that movement, you can start to move a little quicker. So just starting in the ab bike, think of lifting that leg up and down first before you switch it over. 
Now the lower you take that leg that's extended, the harder it is going to be for you. But I want you to try and keep that belly button down, that back flat on that mat the whole time. Oh, that was nice and quick. All right, let's come into some fire hydrants. We're gonna be on our forearms for this one. Okay, your right leg is just gonna open and close out to the side. Giving me a nice squeeze as we open those knees out. And try and keep your ankle and your knee in a line with each other. As you get this movement, have a quick look down at your left leg. Let's try and square those hips up as much as we can. It shouldn't be on too much of an angle. We don't wanna be just dumping all of our weight in that left leg. Just taking your eye gaze at the top of the mat. Don't forget about your upper body here as well. Ooh, and last one, rest it down. That was whole round of set two, so let's make our way back. Down again, so grabbing your dumbbells, starting with that front raise. Ooh, an upright row combo. Ooh, very quick transitions here. Very little rest, but as I said, keep your water handy. If you need to grab a drink, grab a quick towel, go and do so, then meet us back here on the mat. But we are flying through this exercise or this whole series today. Make sure we're raising those dumbbells all the way up. Then we're going back into that lunge and squat combo. Let's go one last time up and row to finish off and drop those dumbbells down. Let's come for this lunge squat combo. All right, right foot steps back. Let's go lunge and squat. <laughs> Ash has been in Bali. <laughs> she's just come back, so she's still a bit jet lagged, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll get there, Ash. Yeah. <laughs> Her arms are just going crazy. The long flights. <laughs> All right, we're past halfway. Then we're gonna come back down with that one dumbbell and work that ab bike series. Whew. Feeling it now. Let's go last one and squat to finish off. Ooh, my legs are on fire. Come down and let's work this. Ab series, all right, start with your bicycle, left leg out, lift, lower, and rotate. So hopefully this round is a little bit easier for you, okay, with knowing how to do this exercise. But once you get it, you'll feel that burn, you can start to move a little bit quicker here. Also getting those hip flexes with that leg lift and lower. Then we are straight back into those fire hydrants. And then we are done for set two. Last one. And lower it down. All right, flipping straight over. Let's go into the left leg, opening and closing out to the side, keeping that right knee down. Squaring off these hips. Eye gaze coming to the top of that mat. Whew. I want you to try and keep that control with that leg on the way down as well. Getting a little bit more tension through those glutes. Then we're straight into set three. Got a nice upper body one again to start us off. So we're gonna grab those dumbbells. Let's go, last one, and rest it down. Grab your dumbbells on the way up. All right, we're into a chest press in and out. So elbows wide and squeezing in and out. I'll get the girls to face sideways and I'll face forward for you guys. Just so you can see how I want your elbows lifted at shoulder height, all right, but squeezing those dumbbells all the way into center. And then squeezing those shoulder blades as we open that chest up. And then after this, back on the mat, we've got a glute bridge. Let's go, final three, shoulders on fire as well. Two, one last one. Ooh, dumbbells down. Into a glute bridge. Okay, feet nice and close where you can always touch and rest your arms to the side, tucking your tailbone under. Let's curl up and down. All right, taking these either as slow as you want 
or you can go for nice fast glute bridges maybe even placing some dumbbells on your thighs if you want to go a little bit more tension give those glutes a nice squeeze at the top before we lower I want you to try and keep your knees as still as you can here then we get to stay laying down. We're gonna go into some dead bugs after this. A bit more through your core. Let's go last one and rest it down. Arms straight up, legs in tabletop. Right leg, left arm. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to say the same side. Opposite <laughs> arm, opposite leg. <laughs> I've got no excuse today. <laughs> now the lower you take that arm and leg, the more tension you're gonna get through that core. So with this one as well, try and draw that belly button down. Let's try and squeeze that back on the mat. As those knees come back in, make sure they stop in line with your hips. Then we've got a bit of a push-up combo coming up. So we'll flip around. And let's go last two. And one. Well done. Hug those knees in quickly. Rolling on over. We're going to be going for a bit of a push-up combo. All right, now you can do your push-ups on your knees. Okay, go for one push-up, tuck your toes under. Push up into your plank, right leg lifts, left leg lifts, and then we go back down. So one push-up, hold your plank up and down through your right and left leg. Now, by all means, go into that push-up on your toes, <laughs> depending how you're feeling today. I don't know if I can talk while I do that on my toes, so I am dropping down to my knees. Well, at least that's my excuse anyway. Whew. And then that is it for set three. We're gonna repeat it one more time. And then we are into that final set, last one. And drop it down. Good job. All right, grab those dumbbells. Into that chest press in and out again. Okay, so elbows wide. Hold those dumbbells up and let's go. Open and close. Oh, shoulders are burning for this one. Just trying to hold these one kilo weights up. Oh my gosh, they feel so heavy right now. I don't know if anyone else has been joining us this week, but ooh. well done. Stay with me, you've got less than five seconds. Three, two, and one, drop it down. All right, make our way down for our glute bridge dumbbells to the side feet planted and let's get ready to curl up and down now we have that challenge that is here so you're in day four of the challenge we are also asking you a question each session as well so the question for today is whereabouts are you training is it at home at the gym is it outdoors just let us know in the comments love to hear it love to see where everyone is training obviously we're in the studio today but you know, sometimes you might want to step outside. So let us know. All right, here we go. Press those hips all the way up. Almost there, last one. And lower it down, dead bug. Arms up to the ceiling, legs in tabletop. Right arm, left leg. <laughs> I think I just swapped it on the girls. <laughs> That's all right. As long as it's the opposite arm and leg doing the movement here. Now remember, can we lower a little deeper for more? <sighs> Taking it as slow as you can or as fast as you can, whatever your body is feeling today. You can even add a dumbbell for this one if you want a little bit more through the core there, the arms. Definitely not for me today. <laughs> Whew. All right, then after this, into that push-up combo. Let's go final two. And last one, Whew. hug those knees in and let's go straight into it. We're just gonna flip straight over for you guys or face the other way. All right, let's go for a push up into your plank, right, then left, lower down. So breaking down each movement. Now, as you go for those leg lifts, it's not a big leg lift. All right, I want your glutes to be squeezing that leg up. Try and keep it as straight as you can. Also trying to keep those hips as steady as we can. Whew. Then we are into that final series. We're gonna come into another upper body one to kick us off. So grabbing those dumbbells on the way. Last one here, push up. Let's go leg lifts, 
and lower it down. <laughs> Good job. Grab your dumbbells. We are into a bat of butterfly lat raise. Okay, nice spicy one here. Palms open. Let's circle up and back down again. So try and tap those dumbbells all the way at the top so we get that full rotation and then squeeze it back down. Good one for the shoulders. All right, but just try and have those arms just slightly out in front of you. Slightly out in front. Get a little bit more burn through your shoulders here. Then we're coming into a squat calf raise combo. Oh, last one, <laughs> lower it down. All right, dumbbells down for this one. We're going for a squat. You're gonna hold up for a calf raise. Okay, let's go one squat, up tall, calf raise, and then a squat jump. All right, break it down. Squat, calf raise, squat jump. <sighs> Pressing right up onto those toes, I know. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, I think I went straight into the squat just then. I was already in the momentum. There we go. Oh no. I've ruined it for us. Okay, calf raise. There we go. Squat jump. I can't multitask. Last set. And squat jump to finish it off. Well done. All right. Let's come into a plank. We are working some shoulder taps here. All right, find your high plank. Feet nice and wide if you want a little bit more support here. And we are tapping those shoulders. Whew. Now try and get control through your hips here. Take it nice and slow. Once you get a bit more control, maybe you want to go a bit quicker. And you can drop to those knees for a little bit less here as well, like Chantel is doing. Just keep that nice modified plank position for me. Whew. And we're into some inner thighs. We're just going to lay straight on our left side after this. We'll start with the left leg. Let's go three, two, and one. Well done. We'll just start straight on this side, inner thighs. Right leg behind you, left leg out in front, and just lift and lower. Let's flex those feet here. Should be feeling it in your inner thighs, so make sure your toes and knees are facing forwards. Squeezing it up. Now try not to rest your foot down here. Let's just kind of go for some little pulses here. Now obviously a little bit less, you can go for that rest. Don't forget about your upper body push up strong through that left shoulder. Then we're making our way back through again. Starting with that nice butterfly lat raise, grabbing those dumbbells. Let's go final two and one. Here we go, let's burn out those shoulders again. Nice big rotations, palms facing forwards, and let's circle up and down. Big breath in. Try and relax through these shoulders as much as we can. Remember, arms just slightly out in front. You should still be able to see them when you're facing forwards. And we'll go for a nice cool down at the end of this set. All the way up and down. You've got just about 10 seconds left. See if we can get in a few more here. Then we're back into that squat combo. Let's go one last one all the way up and bring it down, dumbbells down. Here we go, see if we can get it this time. All right, let's go for a squat, hold up, calf raise, squat jump. Good, there we go. All right, I'm not gonna jinx it now. Just make sure we get down deep in those squats. You can go straight into that squat, from that squat jump, and then up tall for your calf raise. Whew. Then we're into that plank shoulder taps. Whew. Almost there, 10 seconds. Drive up that squat jump nice and high for me. One last one. One last series, I mean. <laughs> there we go, squat jump. Good, all right, down for your plank shoulder taps. <sighs> Everyone just in here side. That's all right, we'll get it done. Find your plank. Here we go, get that control. Oh, one shoulder tap, then the other. Let's control these hips. Now, if you want a bit more of a challenge, take your feet a little closer here. Just keep your eye gaze at the top of the mat. 
lengthen through your spine and your neck. Home stretch. About 10 seconds left. Then we finish with those inner thighs. Let's go one last one on each shoulder and rest it down. On our right side this time, we're gonna work our right leg. Left leg behind you, flex your right foot, lift up and down. Now a little bit more here, just holding your leg up. You can just go for some pulses at the top, otherwise just going for your full range here. Pressing up strong through that right shoulder. Then we can stay on the mat. We'll do some stretches soon. You've got just over 10 seconds, flexing your foot, toes facing forwards, let's go. Let's go for final three, two, and one. There we go. Lay straight down here. All right, just hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side. That's the best part of this workout is you just do two straight away and then you are done. All right, just plant your feet down, keep your knees bent. You're gonna take your left foot over your right thigh, just holding a glute stretch. Now you can either stay here, keeping that knee open wide, or you can reach through and hug that right thigh in towards you for a little deeper. Just try and relax through your upper body. You can even close your eyes here if you want to. <sighs> Taking those deep breaths. Plant your right foot on the ground. Keep that left foot over the thigh. You're just gonna walk your right foot to the outside of the mat and just drop your knees to the left. Just feeling that twist in your lower back, but also in that right hip as we use our left foot to help push it over. When you're ready, slowly starting to walk the feet back into center. Let's swap those legs over. Right foot over that left thigh and just keeping that knee wide. Just trying to slow down the breaths. You can reach and hug that left thigh in towards you depending on how tight you're feeling today. <sighs> Planting that left foot down and let's walk it to the outside, dropping the knees to the right, getting that little twist through your spine. Use your nice deep breath out to just try and lean over a little bit further in this stretch. Slowly coming back into center, release your feet, lengthen your legs nice and long. We're just gonna roll on over onto our tummies. Onto your tummies and we're just gonna push back into our child's pose. Knees wide, feet together and just resting your head down on the mat. You can walk your hands out here as well for a little bit deeper. Take a couple deep breaths here. Nice big inhale, exhale, let it all go. One last time, deep breath in and a long breath out. Slowly rolling yourselves up. Just find your side seated position here and you guys are all finished. That was 173, make sure you grab some water and hopefully we see you back for workout 174. Thank you.